Welcome in, welcome in, welcome back, everyone, guardians, listeners, uh, whoever comes across us, <laughs> welcome in. Um, let me start off by saying I fully anticipate, I fully anticipate that folks thinking caps are not going to be on today. Um, typically when I do scatter thoughts, folks thinking caps aren't on in general. And actually, uh, if you were interested, again, a lot of stuff I just leave up because it's the internet and you know, if someone wants to get on the internet and make a fool of themselves, uh, who am I to stop them? But a lot of people specifically on the scatter thought video series just have some very like wacky, like, I don't know <laughs> what about this video series attracts a certain demographic but clearly there's a certain demographic of folks who uh engage with the content and yeah, we do get pretty uh, significant engagement um but also you know some of the comments y'all be leaving are are super bizarre but if you didn't know i'm going to remind you once again uh that scatter thoughts are unscripted content that's something that literally goes past people's minds even though i say it every time but scatter thoughts are our weekly uh rant style videos where we decompress uh about the week about you know things that have happened uh in the community things that have happened with walking well, with friends all those different things they're unscripted they're unscripted and uh one more thing, they're unscripted. Uh, and I'm not going to change the format. I'm not going to apologize for that. But sometimes, I, not sometimes, a lot of times that just goes past people's heads. And then they try and like say like insults. It's like, this is rambling. It's just it's like, hmm, I wonder what is similar to rambling. Uh, it, it's a different word. It starts with the S, scattered thoughts ramblings you know similar not the same uh you know anyways so uh i say all that to say uh that's my intro for today that i fully intend that people think caps are not going to be on <laughs> but you know we're gonna dive in and also uh similar to last week i think this is gonna be a little bit on the shorter side so um really want to hear from y'all in the comments uh the folks who are actually gonna listen and comprehend and you know fully form their own individualized thoughts but uh today we're going to talk about as you can see if you didn't already look at the thumbnail we're going to talk about toxic positivity so um for those who are actually like long time subscribers to the channel you know that like the content we put out in the past like two three weeks is not typically the content we do on this channel um the state of the community has been so dire that for me and you, I've said this in a previous video, I, I, I felt the need and I still feel the need to like actually like, you know, comment um, on the state of things. And yes, we may have like a catchy, you know, thumbnail, something that catches your eye in the title. But like, ultimately, if you sit here and actually listen to the content I'm putting out, uh, I hope that it's clear that it's coming across as thoughtful and like, I'm not just like, waking up and you know just like again for the scripted content that we put in the cage i'm gonna just like waking up and throwing something together uh those videos again i you know script it i you know do the recordings i edit it i do all that myself i don't have you know we're not at a place right now uh uh financially to, to pay someone to do that so we do that myself and so i take these time with these videos uh, what you get is a finished product, even if I don't think it's like perfect. Again, I try not to let perfect be the enemy of the good uh, and get content out when we need that, uh, when we need to get it out. But also understand that like y'all are never getting a first draft of content outside of scattered thoughts, which are one shot rambling videos with like very loose notes, um, which come out on Thursdays. Outside of those videos, everything else I do is scripted, it's thought out and all those different pieces. And so, um, I say all that to say is like, we try and stay on the positive side. We try and stay in a realm where like, we're actually like having a fair analysis and we're providing critical critique. And again, as we said before, critical critique is like not just critiquing and being angry about something, but it's also uh, trying to see all sides of the matter and also provide a solution. And I think for the most part, uh, I think there's definitely some times where I could have done that better, but I think for the most part we've done that. And so, um, you're probably saying like, you're just rambling now. Well, I am, but it also comes to like the main point of what we want to talk about today is with that, um, with having more critical videos as of late, uh, and you know, those videos have done well, 
Uh, typically, when I critique Bungie, those videos do well. I don't do it for that reason. I, I, you know, the videos I put out in the past few weeks are because I actually like mean the things I say, and you know, I genuinely want to start a conversation. But it's just been a space where those things are happening. There are people on all ends of the spectrums, all points of the spectrums, rather, of what's been going on with servers, what's been going on with the uh, false bans, uh, specifically the bans that have been targeting the speedrunner community. Um, uh, you know, just the way that, that Bungie has been approaching the community. Uh, a lot of, uh, there's, there's, unfortunately, there's usually an undertone of racism and homophobia and transphobia in the community, but there's been a rise in that. And so there's so many different aspects of what going on, what's going on. And what really bothers me is that the fact that like a lot of progress that I think we could have with those conversations again I'm not talking about people who are cyber bullying sending that that threats those aren't the people I'm talking about in the conversation I'm talking about people who are coming to the conversation coming to these spaces upset frustrated whatever emotion you're bringing and like just being honest about the way that they feel trying to understand other people's point of view and trying to figure out what solution that you know as a community that we could do to hold each other accountable and as a community what we can do to hold Bungie accountable unfortunately i think a lot of those conversations because again can i say this is like bringing up frustrations isn't a bad thing and it's really weird to engage with people or just see people who b believe that mentioning or acknowledging or just saying that hey this doesn't feel great or this is like bad that those people bringing up those the things and, and providing critique are the bad people versus the actual bad thing that's happening like again for example of the racism that goes on in the community rather than like addressing the racists and the people who are like being you know engaging in racism in the community they're just like you bringing this up is a problem and it's just like what hello um and, and it all comes from the, the this point to me um, is that like we can't even critique Bungie without the uh, and, and and again I'm, I'm really, I really do want to approach this in the most fair way possible, but I do also have to be honest that this is frustrating. But it's so frustrating to see that like all sides of the community are uniting. People are articulating very clearly what they like to see from Bungie. Bungie is not responding. People are being, having like really good dialogue and people are like, even if I'm not a dev and even if I don't know about serviceability, you know, this is what, this is the type of communication I'd like to see from Bungie. You're seeing these like, in my opinion, vibrant conversations happening. And then the pro Bungie brigade comes in uh, with a lot of toxic positivity and, a lot of times undercuts a lot of like good conversations. Everything can't be good all the time. That's not life. Uh, that, that's not reality. Everything isn't going to be okay all the time. And so uh, again, I'm not saying operate from a place of anger, but I am saying that when things get annoying, when things get disappointing, frustrating, bringing those concerns up, uh, in a civilized manner and and asking questions and bringing forth things that are going to start dialogue to me is important. But then when you have people just kind of wash it away with like being overly optimistic or just very like in, in what we've seen in the past week, especially just very coming to the aid, like people who don't even work for Bungie coming to the aid of Bungie's like, y'all don't know what they do every day. It's just like no one's calling for people to get fired no one at least i'm not or no one i associate with no one you know is, is calling for people to get fired or burned at the stake and people are like really just at this level where they're just like feel the need to protect bungie and bungie is a multi-billion dollar corporation that literally that has a massive legal team that is back to back back to back winning lawsuits against cheaters they got money they got resources they have capacity they don't need your individual voice especially as members of the community again we're the customers in this scenario uh and, and they should be listening to our concerns and everything's not going to be good all the time um and i think it's fair to say that we we the collective we as a community have given bungie a lot of grace over the years and i think it's I think I want to be careful with my words, but I also want to be honest. But I think it's 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 kind of appropriate for this moment to have manifest in the way that it did. That you know, 
he didn't really have to power grind as much that you know we're getting towards the end of the light and dark saga that we're starting to see like the cracks in the seams and i think for so long there have been so many different things a really good uh, a really good bungee foundation fundraiser a really good uh you know gcx you know gcx is a great opportunity for folks to meet in person and you know conventions is a really great pl place for uh morale to get boosted you know there's different things that have happened over the years and i think they happen in a way where we you know not everybody but you know a good majority of the community just didn't notice or like didn't really realize how much was being swept under the rug in terms of uh, transparency from Bungie's end in terms of communicating what's going on with the servers in terms of bands where like you have like racist and homophobic people you have cheaters you have hackers who are literally just running loose in the community while like you have people who are legitimately not cheating who are like you know just getting pushed out of the game uh, people who are on the innocent side and so um for me, I just don't think it's right that we continue to give the same weight. And I'm trying to choose my words carefully, but people are going to twist my words regardless. But like, I, it doesn't seem fair to me that we give the same weight of argument to, to people who really choose to be in this very like, I'll ride to the ends of the earth for Bungie stance. If you love Bungie, I am not here to say that that is wrong. If you really appreciate what their staff does, I'm not here to say that that's wrong. What I am saying is that people who choose to do things the way that undercut valid criticism of the company that produces this game that we all love and want to see be successful, those people to me are the problem or are, are, are a problem. And specifically, just to kind of like define it, uh, I did pull this up so we're all on the same page. But when I'm talking about toxic positivity, um, apologize, I probably should have done this earlier, but you know, whatever. Uh, this is non formatted. But uh, signs of toxic positivity. Well, first off, um, this is from Very Well Mind. Uh, they have a number of like really good articles uh, about wellness in general. So again, I'm not sponsored. This is not an official plug. But uh, if they want to sponsor me, you know, hit me up. But anyways, uh, this comes from Very Well Mind, and I really like the way that they framed it because uh, I think we have all known what toxic positivity is for like a good majority of our life. If you've interacted with other humans, I think you know what toxic positivity is. But uh, the way that they put it, I think, is really helpful when it says toxic positivity is the belief that no matter how dire or difficult a situation is, people should maintain a positive mindset. Okay. Short, sweet, to the point. So it's like, regardless of how difficult life or whatever the situation is, be positive. Um, and again, this is different from people who just, you know, want to have aff affirmations, have different mantras that are like, you know, uh, that are positive for them and that they're living their life. We're talking about people who like, regardless of how someone is engaged, you could literally have just had a car run over your leg and your leg is broken. And they're just like, well, if you just like think positively, like you'll be okay. And again, not every day that your leg is getting run over by a car, but like, that's just like a type of example of what that can look like. And again, in the article that they have on uh, toxic positivity, they name a couple of different phenomenons is reciting positive quotes about hard situations ignoring your problems or ignoring other problems, hiding painful emotions and dismissing others difficult feelings. And I think that's the real one I really want to land on again for our core question for today is like a part of toxic positivity is a dismissiveness of how other people are feeling. You know, if someone came out to me and was just like, Hey, you know, uh, you know, a family member that was close to me just died. And then my immediate reaction was like, yeah, you should probably just get over and just like think positively because like that's actually the real solution. You know, not saying I'm sorry for your loss, not acknowledging that this person is is going through a very traumatic life instance, just being like, yeah, yeah, you know, if you just think positive, just a couple deep breaths, you know, and, I, and that's probably like the best option for, you know, you know, th then you'll be okay, right? Um, and being in a space where like you're, you're, you can clearly see that happening in the community right now. Again, this is all still, this is, you know, Destiny 2 content, this is centered around the community because the core point being that, like, 
when people are rightfully saying, hey, we are sick and tired of the racism and homophobia in the community. When folks are saying we are sick and tired of the server instability and you not say anything. And yes, I know last week they finally, you know, gave us what, like two paragraphs about server stability, but like they really didn't address the community's frustration, rightful, valid frustration, right? They're just in a space where like, here you go, right? And they threw some jargon at us. They weren't actually empathetic or compassionate or didn't come across that way, right? But still, like, just being in a space where like, you're just very dismissive of how the community is feeling right now. And as an organization that's trying to keep their customer base, or at least should want to keep their customer base and not alienate them, being in a place where you're not just dismissing others' difficult feelings. And again, it happened two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Remember, we we put a video out about it where, like, Bungie, amongst, like, one of the worst weeks of server instability in season, this season, season 21, Bungie put out memes. They didn't address what, people, address what people were saying. They put out memes on their page. Like, how dismissive can you get, right? Uh, and like rather than address, you know, the actual problem, they decided to just like put up this like very like weird, unfunny meme that I, you know, maybe someone in the organization thought was funny, uh, but just put in a space where it was like it just felt dismissive. And I think, again, when you dismiss how other people are feeling, it just continues to like throw fuel on the fire of the actual core issue, because you know what? You're not addressing the core issue. And I think. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to go too deep into it because I feel like th- that's a pretty clear example uh, of what it looks like. But like for me, I-, I think the question I have is like, are folks also kind of seeing this phenomena? I know with like I, I like to have my social media pretty well curated because I honestly like to avoid as much drama as possible. But it does feel like both from Bungie as well as like the die hard folks who will ride for Bungie. Bungie a Bungie executive could literally like run somebody over with their car. Um figuratively, this is not a real situation. Uh it, hypothetically rather. Um and and I, I promise you there'll be people who's like, well you just don't know the stress that that person was under. And it's just like, again, I'm not here to like convince those people. I said this in like two videos now. I'm not here to two, three videos now. I'm not here to convince those people. I don't think my content in this channel and what we're trying to do here in the community that we're built here is for those people because those people are are just in a different end of the spectrum where like I'm more so trying to have conversations with folks who are at least open to the idea that Bungie could do wrong or at least open to the idea that the community can do wrong or at least open to the idea that like we're all human we all mess up we all are imperfect beings and it's up to community and community like spaces for us to be able to have open discussion and actually engage in things but when people want to sit in positions of just uh, the puritanical, just like uppityness, just like feel like they're this 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 overly righteousness to feel like they're better than other folks. And even if they're not doing it in like a very aggressive, arrogant way, they're doing it in a way where they're saying this like, yeah, I believe Bungie over anything that you're saying right now. I don't see racism uh, in my side of the community. So I believe Bungie or I'm just like, like, let's just not burden Bungie with these concerns. Cause like, I don't even know if they're real concerns and like people are legitimately saying that there is a very prominent black creator who this past week was like, I'm quitting uh, destiny. Um, And, you know, I don't blame him because like, there's been, there's so many racist and trolls that are attacking him. And also, you know, me being me and just, you know, wanting to get a sense of the situation, also like reading through the quote tweets, reading through the comments that were on it, because this mainly happened on Twitter, um, and seeing like people just like really just like just it, it just blew my mind what what folks were saying and and being in a space where like um, a part of that crew that blew my mind were was this toxic positivity crew, which were just like well things aren't really that bad and people are just complaining about the racism the so-called racism someone did say that so-called racism blew my mind 
uh, but like the so-called racism and the server stability, people are just complaining about that for no reason. Everything's going to be fine. And that dismissiveness, that inability to just have an ounce of humanity, of empathy for someone else, even if we're not talking about an extreme scenario like people being racist and cyberbullying and homophobic, even if we're just talking about the fact that like we as a community have brought up a number of times with you're talking about issues in the PVP site, issues in the PVE site, issues with the server. Concerns have been brought up. People have made like hour long content <laughs> videos. You know, people have put together like ridiculously long threads, uh, well thought out, ridiculously long threads on Reddit. People have like put together spaces to say that like, we are bringing these concerns up because we care about, the community and we care about this game because this game brings joy or at least most folks can say at one point in time this game brought me joy and to be in a space where like that continuously gets undercut by people who aren't from Bungie I'm you know just want me to clear these are, we're not talking about Bungie that we're, we're talking about people who don't even work for the company but are really just out here wearing capes, trying to cape for Bungie, say all this different type of stuff and dismiss how people, their fellow community members are feeling about a situation uh, in the pursuit of what? Getting movie of the week once in the pursuit of like a Bungie staff member retweeting something you just said. I, I like, I, I'm genuinely not clear about what these people want. And again, that's a whole different video in itself. But like for me, you know, coming back to what I want to be the core question is just like, I, I am genuinely clear, curious about like what people's experiences has been with toxic positivity or similar feelings of where you just felt like you actually weren't being heard uh, in the community in particular by folks who are part of the community, not necessarily like Bungie staff, but like where people are, you know, not really, you know, taking seriously the issues at hand in pursuit of, protecting a company that doesn't need to be protected question mark a billion dollar a billion plus dollar company that has lots of lawyers lots of resources lots of connections it doesn't need protecting from customers you know i i, I don't know it, it feels it feels very similar Okay, yeah, I'll make this my last thing. It feels very similar to uh, Tesla and Elon Musk that there is a part of the Tesla owner community who will ride for Elon no matter what he has done. Through everything he has said, uh, folks he's associated with, what he's doing now with Twitter, like all of this. In, in uh, some folks' eyes, Elon Musk can do no wrong and they will just dismiss you all the way out the door uh with with just he's he's a genius and he's he's done that and you know all the different things that people what these diehards would say but elon doesn't know those people elon isn't paying their bills e elon isn't isn't a family member and 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 so you have to ask the question like what what's the point what's the point of like dismissing other people's fair and valid concerns about this person is, you know, scenario Elon Musk or Tesla, the company, what is the point of dismissing people's concerns about that from people who wouldn't do the same for you? And also people who frankly, in the case of Elon Musk or in the case of Bungie, often they don't, they don't know who you are. They don't know every individual person who's purchased and plays the game. So, so for me, I genuinely am, have a question out there because I'm, I'm genuinely confused of why this is a thing. Why do people feel the need to, uh, again, it, it, it's hard to frame it because like Bungie doesn't need to be protected, but why do people feel the need to attempt to protect a company that has, that is literally winning back to back to back million plus dollar lawsuits against cheater companies, got a $3.6 billion acquisition from Sony, even before all that, had tons of resources. Again, they monetize like 90% of the game. They have funds, they have resources, they have connections. Why do you feel the need to dismiss your fellow community members? Again, talking about community members, but why, why is, do you as a community member feel the need 
to dismiss what another community member is bringing to the table, especially when we're talking about things that are very tangible, like people getting kicked out of the game because servers are unstable or people are getting false bans or in more the extreme scenarios where people are facing homophobic, racist attacks, people who are trolling, just cyberbullying people. And people are bringing those things up in very thoughtful, intentional ways. It's like, this is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. And rather than like actually empathize with your fellow human and your fellow community member around this game that we love, you'd rather, what? You know, I I, I just, yeah. It, it's beyond me. And, and I'm genuinely curious if, if folks have seen that, what's your experience around that? Do you have friends who are potentially like that? But I just genuinely don't know why folks would operate in a way that is going to dismiss a concern. And we're not talking about raging. We're not talking about death threats. Cause again, people are going to try and intentionally misunderstand what I'm saying. We're not talking about that, but what we are talking about is people who are thoughtful and their critical criticism that they're bringing to the table saying, Hey, this aspect of the community, Hey, this aspect of the game does not feel good right now. How can we work towards a solution? Or I have an offering on what I think the solution can be. Can we work from that place? And people just being like, mm, just don't, don't bother Bungie. Or, you know, just the silly things that, that get said. So um, that's my question. Uh, have you seen it? Have you experienced it? Um, have you seen toxic positivity in other spaces uh, that you feel like is similar to this uh, example that we talked about today? But uh, that's what we're going to leave it off for today. Um, Yikes, actually, I'm looking at the time now. I actually went a little bit longer than I intended to. But I, again, it's just something that's like very real to me. And uh, I continue to uh, think about these things in the community. of just like, I want us to have good conversation. Uh, as I've said before, if people are going to troll, people going to troll. Uh, I really don't mind. Uh, people will like watch th these videos and then like troll in the comments. And it's just like, you know, I'm just going to like delete this and move on with my day. <laughs> Like, yeah, again, you can't, you can't people you can't keep people on the internet from trolling, but I do genuinely think about the ways that like, what are the ways that we can actually have, uh, more and better conversations, even when we don't agree, even when we don't see the eye to eye, especially on something like the direction where Bungie is going, where we have people who are like, Bungie is, you know, we have a sizable amount of the community right now. Who's like, Bungie is headed in a direction I do not like. I'm stopping the game for right now or i'm stopping playing the game indefinitely whatever right we have those people and then to have this like brigade of people it was just like yeah no uh we don't want you here because if you're going to complain about this game then like you're just a bad person it's just like no one is no yeah, anyways no one's here no one's here to i mean again there are there probably some people yes but they're not people i associate with but no one's here just to like trash every aspect of the game and like that's their personality uh again at least those aren't the people that i associate with the people i know who are bringing up concerns aren't in the business of wasting their breath i'm not in the business of wasting my breath and uh, being in a space where you know a lot of conversation i think could actually be healthy and good for folks to kind of air their grievances in a civilized way and and have good discussion that again, good discussion doesn't always mean that we land uh, in the same spot. It means, you know, maybe we have to agree to disagree on several things, but the fact that like us being able to listen to each other without dismissing how people are feeling, how do we build more of those spaces and less of the spaces that we currently have where people are just freely dismissing how people are genuinely feeling about whether it be racism or whether it be server instability in the community and dismissing those feelings rather than being like, you know what? I may not be experiencing racism in the community. I may not be experiencing server instability. You know, every time I lock into destiny is fine, well, yeah, but let me hear out this other person who's having a different experience than me. And let's try and figure out where we can have common ground. I don't know. Maybe it's a naive dream, but that's where we're going to leave for right now. Um, love, love love to know what y'all think uh what your experiences have been on uh this issue of toxic positivity whether it's been in destiny 2 or whether it's just been in life uh and yeah let's let's have some good conversation as always looking forward to seeing y'all star side till next time peace